hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is melinta and today i am going to show you how you can open your pioneer account and you can use your kenyan number to open the pioneer account so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go to your browser and you're going to write in the word pioneer once you do that it's going to open the page you're going to click on the first link that comes up it will bring you to this interface right here so if you do not have an account you're going to register here and by registering you just need your email address you need to have a phone number that they will send a code in and then you need to uh, put in your password so you will follow the the prompts but since i have an account i will just show you how to do it so the first thing that i'm going to do i'm going to sign in but if you're signing up for the first time just go into the email address and then uh, click it up so mine i'm going to put in the email address and then once i put in the email address and my password i'm going to sign in if you're signing up for the first time just click on here and then you can sign up there so it's going to open my pioneer account and then i will show you what you can do so it's going to send a verification definitely a one-time verification to your phone number so make sure you have your phone number with you so that you can um fill in all the information that you get okay make sure you have your phone number with you to just confirm the um the code that they have given you it's a one-time code works only once and then once you have your code you can just sign into your account as you can see they they are saying they do not recognize this device so i have to go to my email address to confirm and since uh, i'll have to go to my email address and confirm that the password has been changed mm -hmm. so uh yes I will allow it and uh, once I allow it I'll go to my email address allow it and then they will say thank you once it's done you can see here that um, uh, it's going to allow me to enter my device because if you opened it on a different device it's going to show you different devices uh, it's not going to allow you so you can see we have three different accounts that you can create we have a us dollar account euro account and we have a pound account depending on what account you want to create you can do that and if you come to this drop down menu you will see we have home here we have how you can get paid how you can pay the cards that you have budgets this came in just it wasn't there you can withdraw and convert your money or you can manage here so when you come to the home page here you're going to see you have three interfaces we have usd euro and pounds so if you have your transaction it's going to show up here you can view all here if you have it uh, for your profile you just click here and then you can come to the settings and once you go to the settings you can either click you want to have notifications you want to have security details verification you have to verify user management the language that you want to use so we'll start with the language most definitely choose the language that you are using for me i'm using english so once i do that you just click on change user management you're just going to come to the user management and you you can check if it's something that is needed for you security settings definitely have it um, you can put in the two-factor uh, authentication or you can use the mobile app so that you are able to secure your your payments and everything so that you have to answer the security questions you can change the security questions you can uh, put the password you can change the password depending mine i just changed it because um i had a problem logging in so do that for the profile settings you can come here you can change your name the email address um the address where you are where you at my address that i use is very uh i have to change the address because that's not where i live anymore and um, notifications when you have notifications they are going to come here and you can see them you can either change your part the every notification that you have you're going to see it it's going to come up here all right then you can go back if you want to get paid you're going to either send and manage an invoice you can send this one to your employer or uh, the person you're working with and then they can send it and remember pioneer you can only send money from a business account 
it is not used for personal accounts so this person has to be a business for them to send you money so you can either request a payment so if you want to request payment you just click on there send the details to your customer you get started here you request the client pays you you track your money comes into your account then you can withdraw to your impressor if you're sending an invoice still the same thing you you come follow the prompts the way it is there you send an invoice you can come here click put in the the tax details the logo that you want then you know as a business you continue but i'm not going to go through that if you have a business definitely follow the steps it's super easy not that difficult to do batch payments if you want to do like you have multiple people who are going to pay you you can still do that if you're receiving accounts you have to check which receiving accounts do you have so for me i have a pound and i have a usd account so you're going to choose based on what you want if you need more accounts you can come here request an account create so if you're requesting an account you're going to go here and then it's going to ask you which account do you want it do you want it to be japanese europe mexico depending on the one that you have because i have these two i'm going to go to the euro so that i can show you how you can go about how to create an account so for the euro you're going to click on it and once you do that you're going to go to next and then they will tell you to submit your request you're going to submit your request they will ask you information to verify your identity your your business so they are going to review it and once they review it they find that all the information that you've given is okay and it's all right they are going to give you that account so you once it's done very once they are done with verifying you are going to see your account is going to show up here you can see right here we have the pending accounts and then the account confirmation statement but for here because i have two approved accounts this is how it will look like so for example let's use the usd account you can see we have the details here which i'm not going to show you guys but you can go up there and then you're going to see your details once you're done with that just click ok and you're good to go all right so that is your account and that's how you create an account it's very easy for you to start very easy for you to uh go in and do and if you want to pay you just go to the recipient's account you put in their details definitely once you put in the details amount you want to tell them to receive you continue tell tell us the way that you want the funds to go to your account just follow the prompts and you're good to go if you want to pay to a recipient's bank account, if you want to do uh, to pay to multiple recipients or pay VAT, the same thing as when you're receiving money. So it is as easy as that. So as another thing, you can have cards, right? You can have a pioneer card. So you will choose how do you want? Do you want to pay for services or expenses anywhere with MasterCard? It's accepted. Save big on withdrawal. Available in US pounds, euro. Um, Canadian pounds and Japanese yen. So you can receive amount of up to 100 USD or equivalent to your account in a six month period. So you can just go on ahead, click on learn more and you're going to be able to learn more about how Payoneer works, the eligibility criteria, how you can get your money. So you can come on these questions, everything that you need to know about Payoneer you can just come to these questions right here and then uh, look at them if you don't find anything that you're looking for here you can just go on ahead and ask them a question here then they will be able to answer you like prepaid card eligibility you just ask then you ask the question and remember you must have been signed in all right so that's much about it and that's how you can create your pioneer account if you have any questions or there's a place you need clarifications about how to go about opening your pioneer account feel free to leave a comment and i will get back to you with that being said let's get paid working remotely or with any other business that you're working on and thank you so much for watching this video to the very end i will see you in my next video thank you and bye bye for now bye